expressing feelings might be one of the most vulnerable action one can do. To open our heart and share with others aspects of ourselves in which we feel weak or embarrassed takes a lot of courage. Reality is that most of us carry woundings deep within from past experiences in which we were hurt. Maybe you opened your heart to the wrong person. Maybe someone betrayed your trust. Maybe someone used what you told them against you. When this happens, we are left with two choices. To close our heart or to let it crack open. Most people choose to close it. For some reason, wherever I go, I tend to get close to someone who chose to close their heart. I think it's because I myself refuse to make such a decision, to a point where I even open my heart too much. It's like opposite attracting. I will teach the other how to open up their heart again, and they will teach me how to protect mine. Too much of anything isn't good. We all have got to learn how to strike a balance, myself included. You see, expressing feelings is necessary. Emotions are here to tell you something. Maybe your needs aren't being met. There might be some unresolved issue, pain, or trauma from the past needing to be addressed. Or maybe you are misinterpreting a situation, which you'll never get to see clearly unless you express how you feel. Unexpressed feelings and anxieties can lead to serious health issues. Emotions build up and, if not properly handled, either burst out in ugly ways or transform into physical or mental diseases. There are different ways to express feelings. Ideally, if anyone is involved, you would like to talk things out with them. If the person isn't receptive, having a trusted mediator assist in a conversation can help. And if that's not an option, then expressing yourself to a person of trust, maybe a friend, a mentor, or family member, would be very beneficial. And if none of these are possible for you, then the least you could do is journal about your feelings. Just take some quiet time to analyze what is going on inside, and then write it down. Writing things down will help put your situation in perspective, and you might very well get some important realizations in the process. The blockage of self-expression comes from fear. Maybe a fear of rejection, a fear of abandonment, a fear of being criticized or betrayed. Ultimately, these fears come from a lack of self-esteem, confidence, and self-love. By becoming solid in your own self, you won't fear someone else's response to your vulnerability. You won't depend on anyone to feel good about yourself. You won't be affected. I've noticed a lot of people who have closed their heart manage to convince themselves that they're not affected by anything or anyone. While in fact, they have simply built a mental wall, turning into ice the water of their feelings. In other words, to develop this defense mechanism, which automatically pushes away any feeling which has the potential to hurt them or take their power away. These people will portray themselves as cool, detached and unaffected, and will feel cold to others. This icy, cold feeling is a sign that their heart is in fact closed. 
A person who is truly unaffected in any situation has their heart fully open. They exert stability, warmth, and confidence. For them, speaking their heart out is as easy as keeping things for themselves. I was talking about balance earlier. Expressing feelings is important, but overexpression can also be harmful. Choosing to open our heart doesn't mean to put it in the hands of just anyone who crosses our path. We must carefully choose who we want to open to, and some things must be kept to ourselves. For example, if you're having negative thoughts about someone, gossiping about it most likely will bring negative results. There's also a way to express feelings. Harsh words, criticism, and aggression will cause more harm than good. An honest and vulnerable approach is better. You can also express yourself in a neutral way, simply stating observations you've made in yourself without judgment. In the process of opening your heart, you might make a lot of mistakes. To figure out whom to open to, about what and how can be a headache, and in time and space must also be taken in consideration. But no matter what, you simply have to keep trying. Mistakes are the lessons we need to do better next time. A bad experience doesn't mean that you shouldn't be vulnerable with anyone anymore. It simply means that you're still learning how to balance healthy self-expression. To avoid getting hurt by closing up also prevents the flow of love to come in and out of your heart. Love for yourself and from others will allow whatever hurt you are carrying to be healed. So leave your heart open and in difficult times remind yourself that you are learning. To be honest, I'm struggling too. So know that you're not alone. All these lessons can be difficult to apply when you've been conditioned by your past pains for so long. I personally struggle in discerning when to express myself and when not to. Trust me, it's been very hard and many, many times I've been hurt, betrayed, disappointed and misunderstood. But I refuse to give up. I refuse to close my heart because I know that in order to be the best possible version of myself I can be, I got to leave my heart open. I keep learning more and more and though it's difficult, at least I'm making progress. I cannot wait to be in this place where I feel full from within. And for that I got to keep my heart open and keep growing. Thank you. I love you.